Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another episode of The New Marketing Show. And also catching us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, our website, wherever you're getting this content. We appreciate you. So today I want to talk about closing the loop on communications when it comes to your marketing. You know, a lot of times when you post something to social media, you'll post an article or you'll post, you know, a video or a photo or something like that. And it has a call to action already in it. The best thing to do is also include a link to where they can go and get more information should they want to. Minimally, it should have a link at least to your website. When you do that, what you're doing is you're giving them information. When they want more information, you're telling them where to go and positioning yourself as the leader around those thoughts and that subject matter expertise. Another great way to close a loop of communication is with your web's, website's contact forms. If you have specific forms for specific initiatives, always redirect them to a thank you page that say, thank you for contacting us about XYZ. XYZ then should relate to the page that they came from. What that does is it closes the loop of communications and it doesn't leave them wanting more, yearning for more, or kind of like in the dark whether or not their message is received or what's going on. If you do this, you're going to start seeing a higher conversion rate and definitely you're going to see a higher confidence rate when it comes to your messaging and your brand. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking us out. For more episodes like this, you can catch us at trinitywebmedia.com slash apple dash podcast. You can, you can also get our podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Podbean, Podcoin, Pod whatever. We're out there. So, hey, thanks again. I'll talk to you soon.